here's how to enter a confidence interval for a proportion, or perhaps you just call it a portion or percent. I'm taking a problem off of my video titled 7.3 Part 2 Proportions, and this exact problem can be found at timestamp 3 minutes and 45 seconds. A proportion confidence interval is trying to predict the population proportion by indicating a lower and upper bound value as to where we expect the population proportion to be found within. So essentially we solve the same problem once where we're going to be subtracting and once where we're going to be adding. So on the Casio FX 115, and I believe it's the same for the FX 300, I'm going to type in this sequence of keystrokes. So even though the problem starts off 0 0.4, I can just hit 0.4 and I don't need my lead zero. Next, I'm going to subtract the 2.33. Now, since the 2.33 is next to a square root and is multiplied with a square root, you may not need a multiplication symbol, but I just like to play it safe. I now need to fill in the square root portion, and I have a square root button with that filled in box over here on the second row. And now I see that my square root starts with a parenthesis. Even though I have parentheses written inside the square root of this hand version, handwritten out version, I don't want to use any more parentheses because if I were to put a right parenthesis after the 0.4, it would stop the square root. You could use those parentheses if you had more parentheses, but actually we don't need any of them. We can just type what we see interior as 0.4 times 0.6 divided by 200. Those original parentheses were just for clarity when multiplying decimals. After entering the last piece of the square root, one parenthesis set, I can hit the equals button to get my lower bound of 0.319, etc. On this calculator, instead of typing everything in again, where I change the subtraction operator to a plus operator, what I can do for the plus operator is first arrow left on the um, large center replay button. And now I've got a blinking cursor inside of the equation. So I can continue to arrow left over to where the minus sign is. Now be careful because if I were to hit the plus first, then I would still have the minus. So really, if you hit on the right side of the minus sign, hit del for delete, and then hit the plus button, I now have the exact same equation where my subtraction has turned into an addition. I can hit equals, and I get the upper bound value of 0 0.480, et cetera.